he came back crisis on infinite earth to play superman i know that was a that was a big deal for you that was a big deal did you yeah. get i don't know i mean was there ever a time where you got a little emotional putting that suit back on oh for sure absolutely really i mean yeah yeah i i uh thank goodness also because yeah uh, you know the first time was such a so much pressure and that I was trying not to look at and also couldn't even conceive of. And I was like, Oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get to, and I'm going to appreciate the next one, or I'm going to, you know, relax into the next one. I just have to kind of get through this and but enjoy it. But uh, I didn't have the awareness that I have now. And it was just great. A lot of gratitude for, for having the opportunity to, to, to do this again for all the, the parties that made it possible. Um, and you know, the, I, I've I've told the story before, but the first day that I came on the set, I uh, was shooting the Bat Batwoman episode, and um, it was the first time I was appearing as Superman in it, and I just was I I thought this I've already done it, like I've already I don't even if I even if this was the only scene I'm doing, the emotional wound or scar that was left from my experience of Remember Returns was 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 mostly healed because all the lead up to that the costume fitting the fan the wonderful warm fan reaction people were excited and appreciated having me return to the character um was validating and healing in so many ways that being there was that first day um was was the most magical of times and 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 uh, and I was able to kind of relax and appreciate the rest of the experience from that moment. Cause I didn't, I didn't have to prove any, I had nothing, there was nothing more to prove just right. being there. The fact that I had done that, read the journey, not had the character for so long and still was thought of, I guess, highly enough or enough to, to, to reprise even for that a little bit was, was a validation. I didn't know that I needed, uh, I guess. Um, but it was very healing. Did you, did you think that, so there was no I thought of like, how am I going to play this guy? Because you already played it, right? You already knew what you were doing. They didn't ask you to, well, well, in this world, we want you to play it a little differently or we want you to be, I mean, was there any sort of, or just, hey, you were this guy, just play this guy again? No, there was definitely, there was definitely um, a, 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 some some considerations to be made. It is the same character, but he's gone through a lot since and Superman returns, um, having lost Lois Lane, um, and a lot of his other, other friends killed by the Joker, um, as you were kind of uh, mixing, um, uh, uh, kingdom come storyline with the Superman returns backstory in this. So it's a different, older, more mature, uh, Superman and Clark Kal-El. Um, then you had to play the angry, uh, possessed Superman, uh, which is not something I'd ever done before, so I had to uh, tap into that and, and ground that. So there was definitely some challenges to to be had and and tweaks to the character. But I, I've been thinking for a long time, you know, as I as I'd become a parent and and matured and started to learn more things about myself, and uh, I was eager to bring that wisdom to the character, which you know I think is is there not even when he's speaking, but it's kind of in the not moving moments. It's kind of in the quiet moments where that, I think some of that stuff plays. 